What's up guys? So I wanted to do something a little different today. I uh, uh, There's a ton of videos on YouTube about door speakers and all kinds of uh, speaker upgrades for the Rams with the Alpine system, without the Alpine system. Uh, but this one's a little bit different. I'm actually going to do a custom tweeter upgrade uh, today. And so I've got one of them temporary, temporarily wired in uh, just to test it out before I went further and started hacking apart the truck. But it sounded so good and I was happy with it. I went ahead and mounted this one uh, and got it installed. So that's in the, in the little pillar uh, cover right there. And I was concerned about the depth of the tweeter and uh, clearance issues and everything else. but. I uh, mocked everything up and I'll show you how I did it on the other one. I haven't installed it yet, but I wanted to test fit this one See how everything worked out and go from there and uh, Now this one in the door is not wired up yet. So we'll do a sound test and you can hear the difference between the two um, But this one of course is just temporarily wired in to the front uh, passenger side uh, three and a half speaker. So I did the typical upgrade with the speakers here as well with the three and a half so These are infinity reference three and a half two ways uh, They sound real good huge improvement over stock uh, One of the reasons why I bought this truck was because it had the factory Alpine system in it, which Basically what I found out at least you get a nice amp with it and all the other speakers are pretty much crap and so uh, I thought I was getting something nice, but uh, turns out mm, speakers not so much. So I did basically what everybody else does. They either go with the Infinities or uh, the Kickers. I've always been a big fan, uh, fan of Infinity speakers, so did that instead. Uh, and then uh, because of s space restraints in the doors, I went with the Component Series. Uh, but after ripping the doors apart and putting in this six inch uh, component set, I actually liked the way the front door speakers sounded uh, from the factory better than the JLs did. Um, now in the Infinity systems, um, the front door speakers are restricted to just low frequency uh, sound waves or, or frequencies or whatever. They, they don't admit any highs, so there's no sense putting a three-way speaker or anything in there. So that's why I bought this set, thinking that maybe I'd get some bass out of the sub and some highs out of this tweeter. But the stock factory door uh, speaker is a 6x9, and it just sounded way better. And so I ripped it all back out and put it back to stock. Now in the back doors, they're full-range speakers, and so I've got a set of infinity cap uh, excuse me not cap as references that match these uh that are six by nine three ways but again there's tons of videos on youtube already about upgrading door speakers so not taking up any time there uh so i'll let you hear the difference between just wiring in this one tweeter again this one is not hooked up it's just this one uh versus the other side that doesn't have it so we'll do a sound test and of course this is with a cell phone so you know, take it for what it's worth. In a while now, I will feel better. I'll face the weather before me. In a while now, I'll race the irony. As you can tell, 
uh, with the stock Alpine amp that's in this thing, even wired in, you know, taking up some of the, uh, the uh, power from the front corner as I knock it off the dash. Um, huge, huge difference in, uh, in what you get from this tiny little speaker. Again, this is a uh, three quarter inch tweeter that's in a flush mount um, uh, bracket. And again, I, I dremeled out the uh, panel here and epoxied it in. And now the next step, of course, is to, to wire this directly in uh, and light it up along with it. And so I'll, I'll show you all those steps next, but uh, I wanted to show you a quick sound test of how it actually sounded uh, compared to stock. So, you know, always been a big fan of JLs and, uh, and Infinity uh, speakers. Those are usually my go-to speakers. Uh, just amazing the amount of sound that comes out of these uh, highs, you know. And so uh, about the only other thing I think I'm going to do is probably the JL Stealth Box uh, and replace that, that factory sub because unfortunately it's pretty worthless too. So, but anyway, uh, we'll get to the install and show you all the details and uh, it might be something you're interested in. All right, so now I'm gonna take this back off, show you what it looks like from the back side, and, uh, and then take this off temporarily so we can go mount it on the driver's side, and then we'll uh, show you that process and how I did all of that and the clearances and everything. So let's see if I can get this off fairly easy. It just has two main clips on the back. Last time I threw it on the ground, there we go. So you just pry that off and then easily pull it back off. See, I didn't have this one wired up, so it was just the one. So there's the two clip locations and then where it connects there. And then here's what I did to mount that in there. To start with, I wasn't going to epoxy it. Uh, I, I used JB Weld on it. Uh, it definitely shouldn't go anywhere. And that's just the... Uh, the bracket that's glued in so if I wanted to swap tweeters or something went out I could twist it back out and put a new one in so I got to go do this on the other piece and mount it and then I'll be ready to wire everything up so I'll show you that next all right so I got the driver's side one out there's it. I've got the ring around. You can see the pencil outline on the front. I'll show you what I'll do about that. Uh, all that noise is... Hey, what you doing? What are you doing? Got my helper out here. What are you doing? Alright, so we'll swap over to the GoPro and then we'll get, uh, get this piece cut too.
So here's a quick update where we are. So I've got speaker removed, unclipped. I got this wire, or my speaker wire, run down through here because that's where I'm gonna tap into. All I had to take the uh, the protective underlayment. That's the light uh, from under the dash loose. I know it's dark, can't really see. Run the wire through the side. Had to take loose the door connector the plug right there run the wire through the hole it's got a blank side so that was good 
and then the plug side. Bringing it through the other side, had to take this connector off so I can fish it through there. There's your stock six by nine. Uh, again, this is the Alpine system. I don't know if anything's different with the other system. Uh, I removed the, the mesh off of it when I thought I was gonna replace it, um, but there they are. And so now I've got to run it back through and uh, zip tie or electrical tape it off to get back to the door piece right here where the tweeter will mount. And that's where we are right now. All right, so I've been working on the driver's side door trying to figure out where to run the wire for this side. So I've got the three and a half inch speaker out and I've got my wire run down through the hole. It's probably hard to see all the dirt on it. And so I've got my wire run down through and it's coming out below the dash. But the driver's side is a little more difficult because it's got two plugs on the driver's side door. So I'm going to have to try to snake the wire through one of these tiny holes right there because there's no room to run it because the passenger side only had the one plug. So we've got to run it through there and back through here. But the more difficult aggravating part is there's almost nowhere to run it through the door. So there's the hole where the two wiring harnesses come through. But when you look through, it's probably gonna be hard to see. When you look through underneath here, it's a whole solid steel door panel and inside part. And there's the emergency brake and everything else. And there's no holes that come through. So I finally ripped, I'll save you some trouble. I finally ripped the, the uh, door seal molding off the side and pulled the insulation back carpeting right here at the bottom it's hard to see pulled that back and that's where that few little bit of wires comes through the door right in there so i've got to tuck the speaker wire there it is right there out of the way of all of the emergency brake stuff i think that's the factory amp right there the alpine amp i believe that's what it is so i've got to tuck this speaker wire out of the way and then come back and fish it back through where the wiring harness goes. And then I'll be able to run everything and button it back up. But I wanted to try to save you some trouble because there's absolutely nowhere to run through all of this mess up here because of this steel door panel, or excuse me, frame. Uh, there, there's no holes like there is on the passenger side to get through. Something I also forgot to mention is, of course, the uh, component kit came with the uh, the crossover in it. I actually did try this hooked up to uh, to the tweeters. You know, of course, one set is input, one set is for the woofer, the six inch woofer, and then of course one set's for the tweeter. Uh, and it does have line levels on it too that you can adjust the uh, two decibels up or three decibels down or leave it, uh, you know, r regular. And I tried this and it didn't make a huge difference. Uh, again, I think because of the way the Alpine system is set up in the truck, you know, it already filters uh, high frequencies to the uh, the dash speakers. So, you know, I'm already getting highs to the tweeter by itself. And then, uh, so I didn't see a big difference in it. So I wasn't gonna go through the trouble to install this in the door and find a place for it and add extra wires and all that crap. So I left it out. Um, I'm sure, again, if you were doing a, a full custom aftermarket system that, uh, you know, you would probably want to leave this in. It makes more sense, but, but really I didn't see much of a difference one way or another uh, because of the Alpine system. So anyway, I just left that headache out. Alright guys, well, it's all finished. I got this one all put back together. Uh, that three and a half inch two ways back in. The uh, three-quarter inch JL tweeters are now in, and there's the one installed on that side. It went together pretty easy. Um, again, the driver's side door was much more difficult just to pass the wire through because of the two plugs, dual plugs, uh, uh, wiring harnesses, and then there just wasn't much space to get the wire through the frame of the truck. But anyway, uh, so we'll turn it up and again of course it's a cell phone recording so the audio is not going to be that great but i think you'll get the idea 
uh, overall, I think it was really, really worth it. In a while now, I will feel better. I'll face the weather before me. In a while now, I'll race the iron and buy back each word of mine. Yeah, so overall, I think it was definitely worth it. A uh, little disappointed that the 6-inch uh, JL Audio, you know, the rest of the component kit didn't work out for the door. But, you know, I read a lot of articles and a lot of people said there's just not much you can do with these Alpine systems with the way the amp's set up and it only passing uh, low frequencies. I think if I had a custom aftermarket amp that pushed more power, uh, they would have done better. Uh, the frame in the door for the window track is in the way, so you're severely limited on on how much you can, uh, what kind of speakers you can put in there and what sizes. So, uh, honestly, after I hooked everything up, I, I'm pretty pleased with it. I may go back and add uh, a JL Audio uh, what stealth box sub in the back underneath the seat, but, you know, this thing it's finally where it needed to be to start with and again your results may vary it's um it's the uh alpine system so of course it had the the amp already installed but if it was just a regular system i don't know if you put these same speakers in there if it would actually you know do any good for you or not but Anyway, there you go. Uh, if you liked it or have any questions, uh, you know, leave a comment and uh, subscribe if you want to. And we'll do some more projects like this. Thanks. Have a good one.